Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I had a special request from Angelique in the Wire Makers Club to make some simple wire photo holders. I'm using 12 gauge aluminum wire, 16 gauge copper wire, my tools, I have the beetle on looping pliers, I have some round forms and a cone. So these are my little pill bottles. I call them my babushka dolls to get all the different round forms. I'm going to take a 20 inch piece of the 16 gauge wire and make a loop on one end. So this is going to be the base. And then I'm going to take my looping pliers and bend the wire straight across the middle and then straight up in the center. This will create a simple base for our photo holder that it'll be able to stand. You can make any adjustments that you need so it will stand well and just bring out that other wire a little bit so it's flat and do a little adjusting. You can clip the end so it's more round and also more finished. And then we're going to get our flat pliers and bend it across at a right angle. Then take your cone. This is a ring display cone. This is my preferred way to make spirals. We're going to wind it around just to make a little cone shape and then clip the end flush. And then take one end of the looping pliers and just turn it around into a closed loop. And then what we want to do is work the spiral in. So just take the end with your pliers and rotate your hand a little bit and push the wires together. And then you can also just push them together with your fingers. You can adjust the distance between the wires. Get some smaller pliers if you need to go in there to do more adjusting. Just keep wiggling it around till it's nicely centered and then it'll stand on the table and you can take your photo. This is my family at my parents 60th wedding anniversary. We're just going to stick it in there and there you have a simple stand for your photo. For the next one we're using about 24 inches of 12 gauge aluminum wire. This is a new wire from Beetleon. Thank you Beetleon for sending me this amazing wire. This is a lovely rose color. Comes in many different colors. So we're just going to do a heart shape with the looping pliers. If you want them bigger, you can just take a marker and open up the curve a little bit. Stick the marker in there to make the little loops a little bigger. So just open it up a bit. The aluminum wire is very forgiving. So we have a basic heart shape and then take your flat pliers and bend the wire up. Now what we're going to do is echo the shape of the heart. So get your looping pliers again, go to a smaller size loop, bring it around and then up like that. This is a fun design. It works well. It's sort of like a paper clip style and you can also make bookmarks like this. So again with the loop bring it down to form a heart within a heart. Push it right down. Smooth it out with your fingers. Flat pliers again to push it up again. We're going to do one more heart within a heart. So bring it up and then get your looping pliers again. You can also use the end of a marker or a pen if it's easier. And then we're going to find the smaller end of the looping pliers to bring the wire up. Wiggle it around until it fits right in there. Flip your pliers and bring it around and down. So that's our last heart. And then you're going to clip the end flush. Remove that and then push it right in there so it sits inside. Now take your flat pliers and bend it straight down. Adjust it. 
and then we're going to bend it out at a angle. Start a little loop with your round pliers or the looping pliers. Just bring it around to get that loop started. And then I'm going to get my ring cone and we're going to form a spiral. So just hold it firmly, bring the wire around, remove the cone, put a larger round form if you want it larger. It's probably better to do a wider base so it'll be balanced. And then you can fix the spiral as we did previously where you just push the wires together just gently push them together. You can spread that out a little bit to make it wider and do any little adjusting that you need. So the center wire is right in the middle and it's balanced and it stands and then you can just add your photo right there. So for the last one I did one with 18 gauge wire so if you only have a smaller wire, this works well. So get a larger pill bottle, bring the wire around and crisscross it and do a twist. So we're going to just twist those wires together. Keep going with it. You can do it as high as you want, maybe about five or so inches and then hold it firmly on the table and push the wire across flat. You can adjust the edges to round them out a little bit more. They'll get a little distorted when you bend it down and then bend the twisted wire straight up. So make sure it's straight. You can straighten it out with your fingers. Do any little adjusting that you need. You want that twisted wire to be centered. You can put your round form in again to curve it out. And then we're going to make sure it's going to stand on the table. From there, clip the ends so those two wires are the same length. And then we're going to do our spiral again. So position your ring cone at about the center of the cone. And then do the same on the other side. So just hold it in place, wind it around. So we have our two little coiled spirals there. Just adjust them so they're the same height. And then get your looping pliers or your round nose pliers and bring that end in into a closed loop. So we're going to do that on both sides. Just use the end of your looping pliers. I'm using the smallest one. Bring in the loop. And then we're going to get our smaller pliers just to get in there and wiggle it around to push the spirals together. So just kind of wiggle it around and then you can push them down with your fingers too. So just a little bit of adjusting, push it together. You could use your thumb and your fingers as well. And then you can Get your flat pliers just to straighten them out a little bit. You could hammer them a little bit if you wanted as well. So we'll just do our last adjustments, place it on the table, and then put on your photo. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.